Welcome to our projects in iOS course from Edgeonix. My name is Brett and in this lesson we're going to get an introduction to what the course is all about. In this project we're going to create a quiz app and I'm going to give you a preview of what the finished product looks like. So this is our quiz app. You can see on the splash screen there there's a little bit of information. It's called Super Quiz and what we're doing is creating categories of quiz types here. Now in the actual app, I've only gone in and filled in the president quizzes. And that's just for a time constraint rather than doing them all. So once you see how it's done with presidents, then you can scale that to however many categories you have. So if I click on presidents, I can see there's three questions in here. So I'll click and here you can see we have a question and we have selections. Now what I've done here is I'm using actually four choices for all of these questions again because of time constraints. But I've got these other buttons which can be additional choices. So basically what you can have here are nine choices. And I've done that to show you how you can lay these out so that they look good on multiple phone sizes. So we're going to apply some constraints to make that happen and that's why I've got these buttons so that we can see how that works. So for this the way it works is you get a question up here and then you go down here and you find the president that was in office during this time. So James Monroe. And if I click James Monroe, you can see correct. And if I would have clicked someone else, Rutherford Hayes, for example, then I get an incorrect. So when I'm done with that quiz, I can click next and it's just going to flip over to the next quiz. So in here I have three and what it's doing is using a random number generator and it's going through and cycling through these questions. So I'm going to go to the next question now. Okay, so here's a new question. You can see the choices have changed. And the way that works is that each question has certain choices associated with it. And then in the choice, there's also a correct answer of those. So I believe there's five choices altogether that I've created. And each question can present four. So we, there's the option to cycle through the five and one of the four of course is going to be correct. So let's say that I don't know who this president is and this one is actually going to be Franklin Pierce but if I'm just not sure and I want the answer I can click give up and you can see here it's going to then show the correct answer. And then we also have our color theming throughout this application using this orange. This is based off of another app that we're going to look at shortly. So if I go back to Super Quiz, so this is back to our categories. We can click a category and go into it. So I want to show you the application that this was basically modeled off of. Okay, so here is the app. This is Sporkle, and it's a quiz app. So I'm just going to bring that, make it a little bit bigger. So you can see the similarities. This is the first screen and what we've done is we've added the images here. We've added the category title and then the number of questions in the category. We're also using this orange theme as well. Then you can click go to the quiz questions which kind of is like this screen right here. We have the give up button. We have multiple buttons for each of the possible answers. The question is at the top and we have our orange theming throughout. So that's kind of the extent of what I've done here with it. And I'm not sure how they're going to the next question in that app, but I just put a next button here so we can flip through them. So there's a lot under the cover that's going on to make these different things happen. So for example, adding the color theming to the top up here, getting the items inside of this view to scale properly on different device sizes. We have our images. I'll show you where to get some images for free. We are going to use as well a program called Sketch to mock up the UI of this app. And then also I used it to color the images in this orange color here for our theme. So what I want to do now is show you where to get Sketch and talk a little bit about it so that you'll be familiar. Okay, I am at sketchapp.com and you can see here professional digital design for Mac. So this is a Mac app. The similar kind of applications if you want to use are Photoshop 
You can use the cheaper Photoshop um, Essentials, I think is what it is. There are online editors like GIMP. And so Sketch, I'm going to just go down and you can see here um, how they're doing the mock-ups for these mobile applications. So we're going to look at that and see how to do some of that. Sketch also has iPhone templates so that you can grab different elements of the UI and put it in your mock-up. And you might be wondering, well, why spend time on a mock-up? Why not just go straight into Xcode? Got a good idea of what it's going to look like. So the reason why I want my own mock-up to follow off of is because it's not going to look exactly like the Sporkle app. It's going to be simpler as we saw. So I want to lay all this out and have, an, have a vision of what, uh, or a concrete vision of what the finished application is going to look like. And it also separates design from building. So I'm not trying to build the app and design it at the same time, kind of looking five feet in front of you rather than having the whole picture drawn out for you and then building off of the picture. You know, if you're just in Xcode and you're designing and building, then you don't have the whole picture. It's in your head. You got an idea of what it's like, but you're kind of just stumbling through it. So in the end, I believe it's more efficient to do the mock-up have that done and work on design in that space separate from building. And then you go into building, you don't have to have design running around in your head. You can strictly focus on building out the app and the functionality based on that design. So we're gonna do a walkthrough with Sketch. If you never use Sketch, that's fine. I'm not going to get into advanced topics and you'll also be able to easily follow along with what I'm going to be doing in Sketch. And you can also get, I, th I think there is a trial for it. So let's see, there's a, at the top up here, download the free trial. It's not expensive. And if you're going to continue creating apps, this is, this is really a great program to do it. One of the reasons why too is because it does have a lot of the elements that you're going to use in the iPhone so that it makes it easy to create those mock-ups. And not expensive, not too expensive at $99 compared to a monthly fee with Photoshop, for example. So that is Sketch. And now we can go ahead and jump into the course. We're going to start off with mock-ups. Then we're going to go look for some images. Then we'll get into creating the actual app.